The world of Indian street food is vast, diverse and delicious. But Pani Puri is the king. Whether you're ordering it from an unreliable vendor on a street corner or waiting for your chance with a bowl in hand at a wedding buffet, Pani Puri will rarely leave you disappointed. Hi Cruders and welcome to my channel Crude Fitting. Pani Puri is a small round shaped crispy hollow bread which is deeply fried and filled with mixture of potatoes, chickpeas, spices, flavored water and sweet tamarind or imli ki chutney. The balls are usually made of wheat or semolina and is paired with different flavors of water. Tamarind, hing, mint, cumin, raw mango, guava are just a few flavors of water from the whole ocean of flavors we have around the country. However, eating a pani puri requires much attention and no small amount of skill. Poke a hole on the surface of the puri with your finger, load it up with your chosen filling and then dunk the whole thing into sweet and sour, tamarind and spicy green chutney waters. When you put it inside your mouth, you get it all at once. Sweet, sour, salty, bitter and umami. But where did this amazing food item come from? Unfortunately, the internet has very little information when it comes to the history of this finger-licking pani puri. Kind of like the concept of zero or patriarchy. It's unclear who exactly should be given the credit. All we can put forth are the legends of this dish's sauce. One stating that it first came into existence somewhere in the ancient Indian kingdom of Magadha, where they were much smaller in size and were filled with some kind of aloo ki sabzi, and the other believing it to be discovered by Draupadi from the Mahabharata era, after Kunti threw her a cooking challenge to make a reasonable dish with unreasonable quantities of ingredients. Some say Kunti was so impressed by Draupadi's resourcefulness, she blessed the dish with immortality. And this is a sentence that I totally believe. The flavor bomb is called by 10 different names in different parts of the country. Although in most cases the recipe is almost the same, there is a lot of difference in their taste. Here is a list of some of the most popular varieties of this delicious snack. Number 1. Pani Puri The most obvious one. This is a popular name in most parts of India and the world. Pani Puri is used in Maharashtra, Gujarat, Madhya Pradesh, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu and even in some parts of Nepal. Although addressed by the same name in all these regions, the Pari Puri greatly varies in taste. While in Mumbai, it is predominantly the hot ragda, which is the thick white piece curry that you get with the meaty imli chutney. In Madhya Pradesh, there is a potato mash added and no bundi in the water. In Gujarat, the tradition is to add finely diced potatoes with some boiled moong sweet chutney made of dates and boondi added to the pani. In Bangalore, onions are also added to the spice mix. Number 2. Puchka More famous in eastern states like West Bengal and Assam as Puchka, Puchkas are quite different from Pani Puris in terms of content and taste. Puchkas use a mixture of boiled gram and mashed potatoes as the filling. The chutney is tangy rather than sweetish and the water is very spicy. Puchkas are also slightly bigger in size and the puris are darker in colour. Bihar and Jharkhand also know the delicious snack as puchka. Number 3. Golgappe Almost all of North India except Haryana refers to this dish as Golgappe. 
The taste in Northern India is pretty much the same and it is a favourite. With Golgappa stalls lining every street and corner, this is probably equivalent to North India what Vada Pao is to Maharashtra. Golgappe are made from a mix of potato and black chickpea stuffing, chutney and very tangy water. The water has a dash of mint and lots of spices added to it. Also in some places in North India, the puris for the Golgappa are not very round but slightly longish. Number 4. Pakkodi Do not confuse these with the very famous pakoras. But Pani Puri is referred to as pakkodi in some interior parts of Gujarat. The taste and the preparation remain similar though there are considerable differences. Save is sometimes an interesting addition to pakkori in some places. Pakkoris generally leave the sweet chutney out but incorporate onions. The water is heavy on mint and green chilies. Quite a deviation from the sweet spicy snack, pakkoris are quite stuffed and spicy. Number 5. Pani Ke Patashe Literally translated from both the main ingredients of the dish, Puris and the tangy water. Pani ke patashe is what pani puri is called in parts of Haryana. The taste though is quite similar to that of gold gappe. Number 6. Patashi Not to be confused with a sweet made of sugar. Popular as patashi or pani ke patashe in Rajasthan and Uttar Pradesh, the main ingredients here involve the use of different spices for the water though the filling stays the same that is potatoes and chickpeas or gram number seven gupchup a very interesting name it is pani puris are called gupchup in parts of orisha south jharkhand chhattisgarh and telangana because of the sound they make when the puris burst and the water fills the mouth gupchups generally consist only of boiled chickpeas, potatoes and the spicy water. As a result, they are much lighter to eat. Onions are not always added but can be on request. Number 8. Fulki While Gujaratis refer to chapati as fulkas, Pani Puri is called fulki in the eastern parts of Uttar Pradesh and some regions of Nepal. The preparation for fulki is the standard and it is only the name that differs. Fulki is traditionally not used as it is often confused with the Ramadan savory of Dahi Fulki, which is essentially Dahi Vadas, where the Vadas are made of chickpeas instead of split black lentils. Fulki is not very common and rarely used. Number 9. Tikki It is only in Hoshangabad in Madhya Pradesh where Pani Puri is referred to as Tikki. For the rest of the world, Tikkis are Aloo Tikkis. But for these guys, Tikkis are yummy Puri stuffed with potatoes or chickpeas and dipped in tangy flavour. Number 10. Water Balls The poor English perhaps had no idea what to call these. So they simply translated Pani Puri to Water Balls. The funniest name of Pani Puri so far. Nobody in India calls this water balls, but it makes it easier for the tourists to understand this delicacy exactly how it is. Is some unknown citizen of ancient Magadha the wonderful creator of Pani Puri? Did Draupadi invent it after being challenged by Kunti? We can't say. Is Pani Puri to die for and are we all craving for some now? Definitely. Also, if you like my video, do not forget to hit the like and the subscribe button. This is going to make the YouTube gods quite happy. See you next week with some more crude footage exploration. Till then, noodles!